This is Sedalius with RobinHoodsPlayground.com. I'm going to show you how to flash a Hitachi drive with Jungle Flasher. This happens to be a Hitachi 78, which is a little bit different than the earlier versions, but it works kind of the same way. Just a method in which Jungle Flasher does it. That's the same procedure. Go ahead. I'm using a connectivity kit to connect it up for a power and inject and things. And this happens to be a CK3 Pro. You don't have to have the USB connected for this to work. That's only for the light on drives, but I just leave it connected up for whenever I have to do a light on. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the power on to it. Then I'm going to open up Jungle Flasher. <clears throat> While that's loading, this drive had in stock. I went ahead and flashed it back to the stock so I could show it just like if you just bought one or got one from somebody and it didn't have any hack firmware on it. If this happened to have been uh, flashed with a hack firmware, you would have to restore it back before you could, uh, before Jungle Flasher will allow you to flash it with the iExtreme firmware. So once you get Jungle Flasher open, Click on the Hitachi GDR3120 tab. Make sure that your port is right and use port IO is selected. Now your Hitachi drive will not show up here if you have a VIA card and you have it set up to where the driver is not installed. But it will show you the vendor, the name of the drive, and the firmware revision and the reserve sections of the RAM over here on the port properties if you've got the right port selected. Now, this drive is not in mode B, and they have to be in mode B in order to be able to communicate with the drive. So I'm going to use Jungle Flasher to get it in mode B. So I click on Send Mode B. And it's going to tell me that it's going to send the mode B command to the Hitachi drive. And if I'm using a connectivity kit, it wants me to open the tray, which I'm going to do right now, and then turn the power off to it, and then click OK. And at the bottom, of Jungle Flasher, you'll see some dots start to come up. Whenever you see those dots, you turn the power back on. So I'm going to click on OK. And there's my dots coming up, so I'll turn the power back on. The drive tray closes back, and it gives me the message that Mode B is done. Now, it also tells me that my 7879 is selected. The type transfer method is going to be RAM upload. Now, for earlier versions of Hitachi's, 59s and below, it's going to use classic mode, but you can see that's grayed out, <clears throat> and that's because this is a 78 drive. Now, under our flashing options, we can dump this drive, flash a key sector, flash a spoof data, flash I extreme, restore firmware, and set check uh, set the checksum. Now, if this had been uh, flashed with a hack firmware before we'd want to do a restore first. In fact, if we chose Flash I Extreme and hit the button, it would come back and tell me the checksum's wrong, and that's common for modified drives, and tell me to do a restore first. But this one's already been restored, and it's a good idea to go ahead and dump your drive first so you'll have a copy of your original firmware. So we'll hit Read to Source, and you can see down in the dialog box that's dumping the firmware of the Hitachi. My RAM upload method of a port ID, port IO. That's going to want me to save that. I've already got that one saved. I'm going to save it anyways. Yes, I want to replace it. And there it tells me, shows me my drive key. That it's not spoofed. It's a 78 drive and it's stock firmware. So we go back to our MTK Flash 30, or Hitachi GDR 3120 tab. Since we've already got the uh, original saved, we can click Flash iExtreme and Flash Hack Firmware. Now if you've got your firmware downloaded and put into the firmware folder over here, you can see that's where all your firmware goes to. And it's going to want to save the original firmware anyway, so you don't actually have to do the dump first. You can actually just Flash iExtreme if it's stock and go straight into it. And I want to save it. So yeah, we'll want to save it. So now it's saved. And now Jungle Flasher goes through all this other stuff and actually runs a stability test. And it tells me that my drive is stable. 
so I'm going to click yes and that's flashing sectors and that's going to verify it it actually dumps the flash for the second time to verify it because it has to compare and that tells me my flash is complete this drive is now running the iExtreme 1.51 and this was using Jungle Flasher 1.51 beta and it's done. So I can go ahead and turn the drive off when I close Jungle Flasher. It's going to want to save a log file. I'm going to go ahead and do that. And that's it.